let's find out how to make some cool chalkboard style typography in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. I have a blank document here. I'm going to start with my type tool. Let's go over to the left hand side and select type. I'm going to click anywhere on the canvas and I'm going to select a font with a little bit of weight and a bit of power. I'm going to use Montserrat Bold and just type out my text. This uses a selection tool then to make this a lot bigger. I'm going to click and drag out until I'm happy with it. And then what I'm going to do is hold Alt and then click and drag out another copy. Let's select this top one, come down to my fill in stroke. So this one I'm going to have no fill and the stroke on. And then this one here I'm going to keep with fill and no stroke. So now let's apply the chalkboard style effect to both of these layers and then I'm going to combine them together. Once I've selected it, go to Effect and under Illustrator Effects, go to Stylize and Scribble. So under the Scribble options then, this is down to you and how much you want to play around with it. For my body, I want that to be a little looser and kind of more of like a filled in chalk effect. And then for the outline then, we're going to do something a bit more tighter and a bit more rigid. So feel free to play around with this as such and have the preview on. You can create an effect with more space in, with less space in. You can play around with the variations, whatever you want. Once you're happy with it, then click OK. So we've got the body then of the chalk typography. I'm then going to come to my outline. Let's up the stroke on this slightly so we can see it. We're going to do the same now. We're going to go to Effect, Stylize, and Scribble. And this section now I'm going to keep a little tighter. So let's bring this up to 6. Bring my stroke weight up to 2. Let's bring this down. That's it. I want this to be a little more rigid, a little more tighter. And there we go. And like I said, it's, you know, you guys feel free to play around with this and, and get it the way you want. Um, but I'm kind of liking the looks of this here. This is looking good. Let's press OK. Once we're happy with these two now, what we're going to do, highlight object, expand appearance, and then object expand. So now that we've got a flat vector, now we don't have a combination of, of stroke and fill. And we're going to do the same then with this one here. Object, expand appearance, and then object, expand, fill and stroke, OK. And we're happy with that. Finally now, let's highlight these two and let's kind of bring them together. So we're going to align them to the center there. So once I'm happy with how those two letters are kind of aligned together, I'm just going to pull this off here. We've got two groups here. So what I'm going to do is ungroup them. So highlight this one, right click, ungroup, and then select this one, ungroup. I'm going to drag these back then using the smart guides together. And the nice thing is now these are in groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the individual letters together because you can see now these are separate. So highlight each letter, group together. I'm going to do this for all the letters. If you want to shortcut your control or command G to group together. So let's do this with all the letters. So now that these individual letters can be moved around, what I can do is just kind of offset them slightly. Let's turn off my smart guide so I've got a bit more freedom here. And I'm just going to make them a little kind of skew if and a little off so that it looks like they've been freehanded. Maybe kind of even twist them slightly. You know, just for a little bit of authenticity. Happy with this here. Let's highlight all these. Let's group them together. Let's align this then to the artboard. And then my finishing touch then, I'm going to come in with my rectangle tool. Let's turn on the smart guides again. Let's draw out a black rectangle. I'm going to arrange and send this to back. And then I'm going to lock this selection in place. Now I can't see the type here, so I'm just gonna highlight all this. There's my chalkboard type. And then I'm just going to set this fill then to white. And there you go. So there's a really cool way to do a very simple chalkboard style effect with typography in Illustrator. Very simple to do. Lots of fun. And you can do this with any type. I like to use simple, bold typography. Montserrat is a great choice for this. But you can try this with any different type. Have some fun with it. See where you can take it. And if you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like the video, and let me know in the comments of what you thought of the tutorial and any kind of future tutorials you would like to see on this channel. And until next time, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.